If you're into journaling, you must have heard of the word ephemera. You'd find it sold in stores or just see it floating around the journaling community. But first, what exactly is ephemera? Ephemera are collectible memorabilia that are usually made of paper. These are postcards, posters, maps, and tickets that you'd collect throughout your trip that were initially intended to last a short time when they were produced. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my ephemera collection, the different types of ephemera you can collect, as well as how to organize them depending on your needs. Types of ephemera to collect. There are different kinds of ephemera you can collect. For now, I'll show you the ones that I have in my personal stash. Maps. Maps aren't only good for navigation. They also make for great collectible ephemera. Maps are one of the cheapest ephemera you can find as they are usually given for free in museums and parks. They're also good to have on hand if you plan to revisit a location in the future. I have my personal collection of maps because I always take note of museums I visited so I can go back to them again. Tickets Bus stops, train tickets, and airline tickets may look like a usual part of any trip, but next to maps, they serve as a good paper trail of your travels and adventures. From where you've been and when you took a certain train or bus ride, it's a great way to track your adventures. What's even great is every city or country has its distinct ticket design, so growing your ticket collection eventually becomes a visual feast. Brochures There are a lot of ways you can get brochures. From free travel brochures you spot at a tourist destination, or from events you've attended, or even food menus you gather along the way. I think calling cards are also part of this, like when you go to cafes or bookstores and you get a card during checkout or the cashier. These are great to keep and use for journaling, especially if you'll be documenting about the places you visited. For example, if you're going to do a book store themed journal spread or a coffee shop themed one. A tip is to also get more than one if you're cutting or collaging so that you have an extra one that you might want to use for future trips in case you're going to be revisiting. Packaging Who says you can't collect paper bags or coffee cups? As long as they're dry and able. Packaging you've gathered along the way can be a good memorabilia of the things you bought or food you've eaten during your trip. Personally, for me, my favorite ones are coffee cup sleeves because they don't really get stained and they're really nice to collect because every coffee shop has a different one. Or ice cream wrappers. I have one from Kremia. It's one of my favorite Japanese ice creams, so I always make sure to keep the wrapper to myself. Next is postage stamps. Vintage postage stamps are one of the few ephemera that I find to be a hidden gem because you don't really get the same one for every person and I find that very interesting. I personally find vintage postage stamps at flea markets. They're usually sold in sets depending on where you're visiting and whether or not they have like big collections or you can pick one along the way. I personally find the different locations and designs featured in each set fascinating because you see the designs of each city, also the influences and popular stuff that you'll see in the stamps. Postcards. I think my personal first time of collecting ephemera was always postcards because postcards are not only a way to share your adventures with friends and family, you know, you send them a postcard, but if you write a postcard to yourself, which is something I do a lot, then it's also something that you can share with your past self. So it's like written accounts of your trips and these cards can even double as ephemera and an art print you can put up in your room wall. So it's pretty much multi-purpose. I like collecting postcards that have a unique design to me. So when I go to a specific city, I try to look for very distinct designs that I would like. I try to find these in a lot of places depending on where you are. So flea markets, art stores, bookstores, souvenir shops. Actually, museum gift shops have also a lot of postcards you can collect. And it's my personal favorite way to have a piece of the artwork that I saw in postcard form. Lastly, who can forget photographs? Whether they're Polaroid prints or ones you printed from your pocket printer, 
Photos will always be the best way to store memories. I like to print a handful that I can use for journaling, as well as some to keep in my collection as remnants of my trips. I personally prefer smaller photos around wallet size prints as they're handy and easier to store. As with all the journaling supplies you have in your stash, there are also different ways you can organize and store ephemera. I personally store them by type since it's easier and I carry an ephemera envelope or a pocket zip folder for organizing everything. By color. One of the easiest ways to store ephemera is sorting them by color. This would be useful if you're mixing and matching themed pages. By location. Whenever I travel, I also base on where I got the ephemera. For example, it can be in New York, in Tokyo, in Africa, or wherever I go. I find that it adds to the nostalgia, particularly whenever I dedicate a spread specifically to a trip. Last one is by size. The size of the ephemera can also be a huge factor, especially when determining the size of the storage you're bringing along with you. Or you can always buy at the nearby stationery store. If you prefer collecting smaller ephemera, then having a pocket envelope can be handy. If you have larger size ones like bigger maps, then it's best to have a document envelope like A4 size to store them to avoid any folds or creases. Also, you're probably wondering why we have a different setup this time. That will be reserved for a future video. But I do hope you enjoyed this video and learned more about ephemera. I feel like that word in itself is such a tongue twister, like ephemera, ephemera. But I want you to think about how the idea of ephemeral things result to having ephemera, which is what this video was all about. I do hope you picked up some ideas and inspiration on where to collect ephemera because it is literally everywhere, even grocery stores or maps and all these things. And I'm pretty sure you can find it not even with just traveling, but just going by doing errands and whatnot. And last but not least, check out my new book, The Art of the Travel Journal, which is now available for pre-order. All info will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Always be creating and never stop learning. Bye.